Good afternoon, my lovely, lovely, lovely grandchildren. Hello, Robin. Hello, Jensen. Hello, Isabella. And hello, Ethan. I love you, and I'm going to read you a story this afternoon, and it's called The Treehouse Princess, Princess Esme and the Royal Giggles. Now, this book is, says, Do queens get the giggles? Do kings have ticklish feet? Is Esme's granddad the funniest person in the whole wide world? Join Princess Esme on her latest adventure to Cuddledon Palace and you'll soon find out. There's Esme with her granddad. And so this is Princess Esme and the Royal Giggles and it's by Grace Swanton and Kelly Caswell. There's Princess Esme. Look. Let's look, she's got a crown on her head as well. Grandad held the spoon like a microphone. It's 8.15 in the Fisher household, he said, and I'm joined by the delightful Miss Esme Fisher. Esme, what do you have planned today? He held the spoon out for Esme to speak, but she just giggled. Mr Newsread was one of Esme's favourite games. Esme wished Grandad could come to stay more often. He turned everything into a game. I didn't show you the picture, did I, of the breakfast? There's the breakfast and there's Grandad holding the spoon out like a microphone. Look, Mummy's having a cup of tea. There's toast on the table and they're having cornflakes by the look of it. Ah. So, Mr Newsraiser was one of Esme's favourite games. Esme wished Grandad could come to stay more often. He turned everything into a game. Brushing your teeth was a game. Putting on socks was a game. There, look. Brushing her teeth. Putting on her socks. She looks like a nice granddad. Even going to bed was a game. Look, she's got a tent in her bed. One thing that was not a game, however, was mowing the lawn. While granddad wheeled out their lawnmower, Esme climbed the rope ladder to her treehouse. Inside, she did two very important things. Important thing number one, she closed the door behind her. Important thing number two, she opened a certain drawer and put a certain crown on her head. So there's Grandad with the lawnmower. And there's Esme in her treehouse with her crown on her head. Look at the flowers in her treehouse. That's a really nice treehouse. Look at the bridge. That's really nice. Suddenly, and quite magically, the inside of Esme's treehouse transformed into a magnificent palace. This time, Esme found herself in the huge banquet hall where the king and queen were having a long, leisurely sort of breakfast. There, look. Now, that's her bed and her bedroom. And then, that's the banqueting hall. Look. Look at all those chairs. It's almost as big as Nana's dining room, isn't it? <laughs> when we all sit down and have dinner together. There. Look at all those cakes and flowers. And candelabra on there as well. It looks like an afternoon tea. Lots of nice cakes. Biscuits. Princess Esme, said the King of Cuddles, how lovely to see you. The Queen of Hugs gave Esme a warm, cosy hug. You're just in time, she said. We're about to interview for our new butler. You can help us. So there's the king and queen and Esme look having a cuddle with the queen. Oh, that looks a really nice table. Cuddledon Palace wanted, pretty please, butler to help run the royal palace. Must be cuddly, helpful, smartly dressed and highly organised. There's the advertisement, you see, for the butler. Ah. The interviews began, but the king and queen were extremely fussy. They made comments like, Too handsome. Too shiny. Too muscly. And too pink. How can it be too pink, Robin? Or Isabella. Never known anything to be too pink. After the hundredth interview, the king gave a long sigh. Oh, that was the last one, he said. Oh, cuddle, said the queen. Were we too picky? Perhaps we should start again. What does her little highness think? Princess Esme thought for a moment. 
I think a butler should always be funny, she said. Even the king and queen need a giggle every now and then. Yeah, they've asked Esme, what do you think, Esme? They're looking quite fed up. Do you see the cat hiding under the tree there? Look, he's got a crown on his head. Those are all the applications for all the butlers that have applied for the job. So the King of Cuddles called everyone back. This time they asked the butlers to make them laugh. Ah, said the Queen. Ah, said the King. Ha <laughs> ha, said Princess Esme. But they were only the tiniest of laughs. None of the butlers were as funny as Esme had hoped. There, look. Pulling funny faces, doing handstands, singing. Ooh, doing magic tricks, I think that one's got a rabbit out of the hat. Suddenly, a new candidate burst into the room. He ran over to the king and removed the king's slippers. Excuse me, began the king. Ah, ha, ah, ah, ha, ah, ah, ha, ah, ah, ha, ah. ha, ha, ha. Then he hooted and howled until his cheeks, turn, cheeks turned purple. The queen sniggered and snorted till her crown toppled off and Esme laughed at them all. Look, what is the butler doing to the king's feet? He's tickling them. Look, the queen's laughing and Esme's laughing and the queen's crown has fallen off. Look, there it is. Oh, that looks fun. Finally, the king gave Esme a royal nod. She shook the man's hand and said, Thank you for giving us the royal giggles. Would you like to be our new butler? Yes, beamed the new butler. I would. Could you tell us your name, kind chap? asked the king. Tickles, he replied. My name is Tickles. And the royal giggles struck again. There he's shaking Esme's hand. And there they're all giggling again. And there's the cat with the crown on his head again. Just then... Esme heard a loud yelp. She ran to the door and looked outside. Grandad had run over the hose pipe with the lawnmower and was getting soaked. That would make the king and queen laugh, she thought. Esme turned to tell them, but the palace had vanished. There, look, there's Grandad running over the hose pipe with the lawnmower and he's getting soaked with water. And there's Esme and her palace has turned back to her tree house. Esme took off her crown and put it back in the second biggest drawer. As she climbed down from her treehouse, she thought about the king's ticklish feet and giggled. The little bell on the treehouse jingled as if it were giggling too. Uh, look at that treehouse, isn't it magnificent? That's fabulous. It's even got its own little lamp, shine lamp, look, like a street lamp. Like that. And that's the end of the story. So... Do you think her granddad is the funniest granddad in the whole wide world? Or is your granddad, one of your granddads, the funniest granddad in the whole wide world? They think they're funny anyway. They like it. They like to have fun with you. Anyway, I'm going to go now and I'm going to give you a big, big kiss. And I love you very much and I miss you and I'm going to see you very soon, even if I have to wear a mask and a boiler suit. I love you. Take care. Bye bye.